Hello friends, good morning. In my last lecture, I had explained about the instantaneous relay. The main advantage of instantaneous relay is it operates without any additional or purposeful time delay. But the drawback is it is most affected by the DC offset value of the fault current. Therefore, it overreaches. It overreaches means it operates for the fault beyond its range. So first, I will tell in brief what is this DC offset of the fault current. This is the sinusoidal component of the fault current when fault takes place. And it is observed that in addition to the sinusoidal component, there is one additional component of the fault current which is exponentially decaying, this one. And it is called as DC offset of the fault current. So, and in worst case, its peak value or maximum value can go up to the peak value of the sinusoidal component. So here it is peak value of the sinusoidal component, IM. And in worst case, this DC offset can go up to IM. So if we consider worst condition, then these two will be super, this will be superimposed on this. So maximum value of the fault current will be equal to two times IM. So we for deriving or derivation, we always consider the worst condition. So that is about the DC offset of the fault current. Now let us come to the relay. But this is simple radial figure, two sections, one source. For this section, we are using relay R1. For this section, we are using relay R2. This is source. ZL is source impedance. ZL is impedance of this line. So we set relay R1. So R1 is set by considering the fault at the remote location that is F1. So pickup of relay R1 will be proportional to I F1 that is fault current at the remote location. And this will be proportional to 1 upon impedance between source and the fault that is ZS plus ZL. That is proportional to 1 upon ZS plus ZL. Now in the next section which is covered by relay R2. Consider a point P where impedance from this point to this point is K times ZL. K times ZL. ZL is impedance of this first line being protected by relay R1. So at P, we are considering the point P where if fault takes place, say F2, then fault current IF2 is exactly half of fault current IF1. So IF2 is half IF1. Therefore, IF2 will be proportional to 1 upon 2 times ZS plus ZL. Now consider worst condition. Fault takes place at P and it has 100% DC offset. So with 100% DC offset, IF2 dash, it is indicating fault current at 2 with 100% DC offset. So it will be 2 times IF2, that will be equal to IF1. Now compare this, 2 times ZS plus ZL will be equal to ZS plus ZS plus ZL plus K times ZL. This is the total distance from source to point P. Impedance is the measure of distance or vice versa. So 2 times ZS plus ZL is equal to ZS plus ZL plus K times ZL. So K is coming 1 plus ZS upon ZL. And this K represents the overreach or transient overreach of instantaneous relay. So worst condition, it will reach up to this point. If value of DC offset is reducing, this K is also reducing. So if you observe this equation, it is 1 plus ZS upon ZL. Larger the value of ZS, more will be the overreach. Larger the value of ZL, less will be the overreach of, less will be the overreach. So keeping in this equation into mind, we can say that Instantaneous relay is not preferred when ratio of source to line impedance is higher. Because if it is higher, overreach will be more. So this is about transient overreach of instantaneous relay. Now I will explain the transient overreach as well as effect of DC offset on performance of instantaneous relay by a simple numerical. The numerical is 
a distribution line as shown is protected by an instantaneous relay R. This is instantaneous relay R. This is the power system. Source line AB and line BC. This relay R is protecting line section AB. Relay is set to operate for, for the fault F1. So when we are setting the relay, we consider the fault at the extreme end. So fault F1 is considered. Data is as under ZS. This is source impedance. is 3 ohms. Line impedance 0 0.5 ohms per kilometer. Line AB is equal to line BC is 10 kilometers. So this line AB is 10 kilometers long. BC is also 10 kilometers long. Now please remember, this is not actual data. Actual data of such lines may be different. But here my objective is to explain the effect of DC offset on the performance of instantaneous relay and to make you aware about the transient overreach of instantaneous relay. At point X on line BC, this is point X on line BC, IF2 means if fault occurs. The fault current is 0 0.8 times IF1. So as we move away from the source, the magnitude of fault current is reducing. Therefore, if we move away from point B, the magnitude of fault current will reduce. And at point X, it is mentioned that IF2 is equal to 80% of IF1. If relay R operates for fault F2, then compute the overreach of relay R and percentage of DC offset in IF2. So obviously, if DC offset is not there, IF2 will be point IF1 and this relay will not operate. But due to presence of DC offset of the fault current, the actual magnitude of the fault current will increase. And as it is becoming either I equal to IF1 or greater than IF1, therefore relay R is operating for fault F2. And it is overreaching. Now let us see the solution. IF1 is, in, is proportional to 1 upon impedance between this fault location and the source. So it is ZS plus ZAB. Given ZAB is 0.5 ohms per kilometer and line length is 10 kilometers. So impedance of line AB will be equal to 5 ohms. So IF1 will be 1 upon 3 plus 5 that is 1 upon 8. Let us say equation number 1. Now IF2 will be proportional to 1 upon impedance between point X and the source that is ZS plus ZAB plus ZX. Now ZX is representing impedance of line section V2X. So it is 1 upon 3 plus 5 plus ZX. That is equal to 1 upon 8 plus ZX. Say equation number 2. Now let us take the ratio of 1 and 2. So IF1 upon IF2. IF1 we are assuming 1 per unit. So IF2 is 80% of this, that is 0 0.8. So IF1 is 1 upon 8. IF2 is 1 upon 8 plus ZX. So solving this, we get ZX is equal to 2 ohms. ZX is equal to 2 ohms. Now ZX is impedance of line from B to X. Now if we want to compute the line length from B to X, we use this equation. ZX is 2 ohms. 0.5 per 0.5 ohms per kilometer is the impedance given. So x is line length bx. So x is coming 4 kilometers. Therefore, relay R operates up to 4 kilometers on line BC. So this is the overreach. Now, in terms of transient overreach, the formula will be the impedance for which the relay is operating. So 5 plus 2 ohms minus impedance for which the relay is set that is 5 ohms divided by impedance for which the relay is set. So it is 2 upon 5 that is 0.4 or let us say 40%. So transient overreach of the relay R is 40%. Now let us see how much is the DC offset. We are assuming that at this point if fault occurs the total fault current is equal to IF1. This may be this may go beyond IF1 also but we are assuming that it is equal to IF1. So IF2 dash, that is fault current at F2 with DC offset is equal to IF1. Now for the for computing the resultant fault current, 
due to DC offset, the formula is AC component of the fault current square plus DC component of the fault current square and complete square root. So if this is one per unit, it is 80%, so 0.8 plus IF to DC, this will be square. So IF to DC is coming 0 0.6 per unit or 60%. So DC offset present is 60%. Please note, this will be IF to DC square. So DC offset of the fault current is 60% and transient overreach is 40%. I hope by this numerical, you will get a clear idea about how the instantaneous relay is overreaching due to DC offset of the fault current. Thank you.